Yeah, that's good. Go on, go on, go on. Good boy, well done. With these boys, we're trying to embrace uh, this sort of culture where they own, they own their own development. Uh, and that means learning different roles, learning a lot more tactical awareness they've had before. So it's getting everyone a total like holistic approach to, to awareness of positions more than anything. That's the undercurrent behind everything that we do. And then within that it's specific, it's like today's been a midfield session. This is his first day release amongst a group of people he's still getting to know. Yep. So can you work on him on yep. his input, obviously because of his injury, also social dynamic, how he's integrating with a group. I mean, I'm fortunate enough that my son's the same age as these boys, so I see the homework, I see the pressure, I see the tears and the tantrums and the, the body changes. Uh, much of my little boys this, this May, you see them things, and it has a big influence on their learning. So you need to take that into consideration, but at the same time, you, you're kind of less forgiving because they're getting nearer the end goal. So awareness of tactics and, and seeing bigger picture, they have to own that and they have to own it quickly. So everything is done, uh, yes, it's position specific, but it's an understanding of what that relates to on the pitch, with and without the ball, certain thirds of the pitch, and they've got to own that more now. What problem is there already? Bit of traffic, how about the pitch size? Okay, so you've got a problem solved. Four minutes, yep. Good, good, good talking more and Japan. Same line. I'd say that now's the time where players should know their roles. I mean, you can still be flexible. You know, your right hand side of centre half could play right back, and your, your right wing are the same and similar things. But if you look at, I call it the home straight to Colney. They've got three to four years, potentially. You're looking at your Wayne Rooney Evan example, where they could potentially be first team. This is the home straight, so they need to really start nailing down a position specific role, but whilst appreciating all the other roles. Great save, Jamie. Great save, Jamie. And again, Jamie. We're trying to get these boys to buy into the sort of one common goal to be better and, uh, and, and, and win games and become Arsenal players. And with that, it's all mindset. I mean, we can list 10 things, nine of them will be psychological. So we want to challenge the boys. We want them to feel uncomfortable. We want them to say, why have you done that? You know, that's not good enough. You've done that a minute ago. And so the language changes because we're getting near a colony and, and the top end is unforgiving because the prize is so great. I never worked with Alex Iwobi. I was at another club you know, during his development and people will say that he wasn't the sharpest and the quickest but yet he was persistent and he worked hard and he's come through and yet he wasn't at the forefront of any of those age groups so it's almost like sometimes the rough diamond shines strong at the end four minutes became two minutes why say again sloppy so if i don't have to carry on for two minutes we're not learning anything Okay, same mistake. I think the biggest challenge is focus, is that there's a, there's a billion distractions. There's one aim, the game doesn't change, become a first team player at Colney, but it's how you deal with the distractions. I think if you can keep focused and deal with the distractions, but it doesn't affect your football, and you listen and you appreciate making mistakes as part of your development, I think you've got a chance. Come on, 3v2! Yay! For more videos, subscribe.